After four years caravanning around Australia, Cheryl and Gary Clift chose to settle in Tasmania's Huon Valley. Only they couldn't find an affordable rental. It was awful, because we knew we couldn't afford it on our pensions. For the past five years, they've been living in a caravan park in Huonville, which is part of Julie Collins' electorate of Franklin. It's a snapshot of the issues she'll now have to contend with. The Tasmanian MP, sworn into Federal Cabinet today, becoming Housing and Homelessness Minister. While the Cliffs love the sense of community in their current home, knowing they have no other option makes them uneasy. If we had to move out of here now, it would be a major issue if just trying to find somewhere to start with and then trying to afford it. We'd have to go without other things to pay rent. The caravan park they live in is home to another 13 permanent residents. And there's more knocking at the door. We've got uh, six people on the, uh, on the waiting list that uh, are looking for something. I don't know where they're staying in the meantime. It's an issue that came to State Parliament's doorstep today, as Labor highlighted the plight of six Kingston residents facing eviction from their properties. We're just desperate. Four weeks' time we have to be out of our units or pay four fifty a week rent. They're affected by the end of the National Rental Affordability Scheme. Premier, how do you explain your government's lack of action and what do you have to say to them now that they face eviction and homelessness? And our Minister for uh, Housing uh, has written uh, to the new Minister for Housing to work through uh, a number of these matters. Housing advocates hope having a local minister means they can't ignore the problem in their own electorate. Surely Collins knows firsthand of Tasmania's housing crisis and she'll be able to bring her experience uh, to the national stage. As well as the pressure points of housing and homelessness, Julie Collins becomes the Minister for Small Business. The opposition has flagged that sector will be a key focus of scrutiny this term, as many businesses continue to recover from the pandemic, meaning the new Minister will face pressure on many fronts. Lucy MacDonald, ABC News.